Come on. Come on. They might be going towards your stairs. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh. These fish, man. So slick. to catch a big one. The activity is on Henry's because we definitely have seen some big ones but we haven't caught it. The best part about staying at the cabin is once you come home from the lake. It just smells amazing. Someone had the idea to start a roast this morning. Worried about it all day. So good. So we'll put uh, some mashed potatoes down first and then let's throw some meat on there. How long did you cook this one for? Let's see. We might have got a little bit of a late start today. So I put it in about 11 o'clock this morning and then by the time we got home around 6 it was perfect. It is perfect. Some beans. So we're back at the cabin, fishing Henry's Lake again. What do you want me to what say? What are you going to say to it now? I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, we got out there today, for a few hours at least. Didn't really film anything. Didn't bust out the no. camera. We got a little bit of phone footage though. And a time lapse of the gorgeous sunset. The sunset, sunset was pretty nice today. Yeah. And we caught like nine fish. I caught like four. Not bad for a day. It was fun. It was so windy though. So hard to see. There's a few little snowflakes coming down now. It's supposed to start snowing a little bit later. Pretty much snow for an entire week. Hopefully it'll make it so the ice isn't so slippery. Yesterday was a little bit ridiculous. We were wearing ice cleats on the bottom of our boots, but still almost fell like 10 times. Because it was just that slick. There's absolutely no snow on top of the ice. I'm thinking this storm system coming through might turn the bite on a little bit. It's supposed to come up a little bit later. We're just gonna have to carry it all the way down. There's like no snow. Carry the sled. So kind of like last time we started at the big pressure ridge here. And then we just drilled holes every 10 yards or so trying to find that weed line. Up here a little bit closer, the weeds were up so high you could nearly grab them if you just reached down the hole. And it seems like right here, the weeds are about six feet down. These are our exact holes from yesterday that we ended up doing pretty good at. So we're probably just gonna try right around here again. Because right about here, about 10 feet that way, the weeds are nearly touching the ice. They're so tall. Right here's a good drop off. 
And at Henry's, that's about the only structure you get, the weed lines. So this is probably where we're gonna wanna set up to try to find those cruising fish. Trying to find the camera down there and he kept eating me. Huh. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Biggest one, Mike. There he is. Guy. <laughs> Tiny. Come on, buddy. Come here. It's the little guy. Oh. Small little fish. First one of the day for me. Pretty. And... Bye. Even gave back my mealworm. Again. Ow. All right. Uh. Oh, damn, buddy. Barbless jig popped right out. Sweet. Real pretty. Not a giant, once again. But I'll take it. I was fishing my different rod earlier. One that didn't have this spring bobber on. I feel like I was getting bites, I just couldn't see them. They've just been that light. So now I've been able to catch a couple now that I put this on. Come on back. Ooh, chilly. Might have to head back into the tent here in a bit. So cold. Just the lightest bite ever. There he is. Oh, he came off. That one looked about the same size as that last one. Just came off right at the hole. Finally a fish, come on. Got him. Lost another one. That one looked a little bigger. Gosh, dang it.
that in? Yeah. Nice. Oh, that one looks pretty nice. That worm on his head. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Honey, honey, honey. Don't do that. Oh! <laughs> he went down the camera hole. There's crazy. Tough to hold. Slippery. Oh, good. Oh, maybe not. Nice. That's a pretty one. <laughs> he keeps, yeah. keeps burping. Told you. Yeah, the fishing wasn't as fast as yesterday, but we still managed to get a few today. Seems like most of the ones I hooked got off. They all seem to be escaping today. But it's getting pretty dark, so it's probably about time to head. We're gonna pack up, make our way back to the cabin. We still have one more morning. We're gonna leave tomorrow, see how it ends up. Still haven't got that big one though. Gotta happen eventually. It's really slowed down since it's got dark. Haven't really seen anything. But there's always tomorrow. Ugh. See what we can do. You are one that will survive. When time's been bad, you put smiles on everyone. I think of you and of all I should have done. Idaho, don't let me down this time. I need that 200k. We'll see. So, we were lazy today. We woke up late, decided not to go fishing. Um, just hung out at the cabin for a little bit. Now we're heading home. These scratch tickets, though. Rigged! Thanks for nothing, Idaho.